Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now look at this for a shawl. Look at this for a baby shawl. This whole shawl is 38 inches wide across. It's 38 inches wide and it's made up from a cross stitch. Some of it is triple treble cross stitches. That means it's wrapped around the hook three times. These ones are double treble stitches. <laughs> I'm getting lost with my trebles and my double trebles. And I've got some just double trebles here. And that's just twice around your hook. It just shows you what you can do with these stitches. Now, the surprising thing is about this show. In the UK, this show only cost me £1.98 to make it. £1.98. I got this This one's pink and it's a beautiful shade of pink as well. This one I've done in lemon. 99 pence from Home Bargains. It's still really nice and soft for 99 pence. It crochets up absolutely beautiful. And for 99 pence, I mean... £1.98 to make this. And if you sell your baby blankets, you can easily get £20 for this. Easily get £20 for this. This is a beautiful crocheted shawl. It is called a magic circle. Now, I love doing this because it pulls the centre of your crochet really tight. Now, you take the tail end of your yarn and put it in the front of your hand. Take the rest of your working yarn around the back of your hand and just cross it over like that. Take your hook, that's your tail end, follow it up, put it under that tail end side and just pull this end through like that. Just pull your tail a little bit, grab your working yarn and just pull it in and you've got this big lasso you've got this big lasso like that just pull it a little bit tighter don't need it that big so there we go we've got our little we've got our little magic ring so once we've done our crochet into the middle of that we're going to pull that and pull it tight so I'll zoom in one more little bit What we're going to do, the stitch we're going to do is called a double treble in the UK. If you're in the USA, this is a treble crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a treble crochet stitch. If you're in the UK, it's a double treble crochet stitch. So we're going to chain four to begin with. One, two, three, and four. That counts as your first double treble. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 16 double trebles into this circle part. So this counts as your first double treble, this one here. Wrap your yarn twice around your hook. So it looks like you've got three stitches. Go inside your big loop, pull your yarn through. So now you've got four loops on your hook. So yarn over your hook, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. We need 16 all together. So we're going to put another 14 double trebles into this ring. Yep. Wrap your yarn twice, one, two, into the hole and pull through. You've got four loops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Wrap your yarn around your hook twice and back into that big space and do your double treble. So now we've got one, two, three, four. 
I'm going to keep doing that until we've got a count of 16. So I've got my 16 double trebles inside my circle. Now I'm going to pull the tail end of my little circle and tighten in that middle. Give it a good pull. And that is why I like the magic circle because you've got no hole in the middle. We'll stitch this in later. Now you're going to slip stitch to join this round to the fourth stitch in that chain that we did. We did a chain of four, so we're going to slip stitch into the top of that one. And that completes that round. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to slip into that first space. Do a slip stitch into that first space like that. We're going to chain four and again this is going to count as your first double treble. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to chain one more because that's going to count as your double treble plus a chain one. So chain five that counts as your first double treble and your first chain one. Yarn around your hook twice and go into the chain space, into the space between these two stitches. We're going in there and we're going to do one double treble and then chain one. We're going to go into the next space between these two stitches. Yarn around twice. Yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops and chain one. You're going to do that all the way around. Remember that chain one. And we're going between the stitches. So we should end up with 16 stitches and 16 spaces. Chain one. Into the next one. And chain one. Yarn around twice into the next space and chain one. All the way around. I've done my double treble and my chain one all the way around. Now don't worry if it starts to look like this. It will flatten down. So don't worry about it. What you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into the fourth chain space of that five that we did at the beginning. So one, two, three, four. So that'll count as your double treble plus your one chain space. So slip through there. Now don't worry that if it looks like that. Don't worry about it. It's going to straighten out and it's going to stretch out. So the next round, what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into that space. Put your hook through, pull your yarn through and just slip stitch. And that will be you working with this space here. You're going to chain four. One, two, three and four. That counts as your first double treble. Yarn over twice and go into that same space. Finish your double treble. We're going to chain two, one and two. Now you're going to put two double trebles into the next space. Chain two, put two into the next space, chain two and put two into the next space. All the way around. So I've done my chain two. So I'm going to put two double trebles into this space here. Chain two and two double trebles into the next big space. Chain two, one, two, two into the next one, chain two, two into that one and chain two. So we're going to do that all the way around 
your circle. Then you'll slip stitch to the top of this chain of four here. So I'll do that and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I'm going to slip stitch to the top of this chain of four. And that's going to complete this round. So just slip stitch to there. Now we're going to put a slip stitch in between here because we need to start in this big chain two space. So just slip stitch your way along into that space because this is where we're going to start. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. That counts as your first double treble crochet. Twice around your hook, wrap your yarn twice around your hook, into the space, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two. We need to count seven all together and count that chain as your first one. That's one, two. This is three. Four. Five. Six. And our last one. Seven. Remember and wrap that yarn twice around your hook when you begin. We're going to skip to the next chain two space here. We're going to put one treble crochet into that space. It's going to pull that end of your cluster down. We're going to move over into the next chain two space and we're going to put seven double trebles into that space. So yarn over your hook twice and just go straight into that space. Go straight into that space. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip over to the next chain space. And we're just going to put one treble crochet. If you're in the USA, that's a double crochet. So one treble crochet into the next space. Jump to the next space and you're going to put seven double treble crochets. And that's going to make your little flower pattern around this edge. So seven double treble crochets into this space. One treble crochet into that space all the way around and you should finish on one treble crochet into that space and we'll join it to here to complete that round. So I'm going to do that and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So this is what we have. We've got our seven double trebles one treble into the next space, seven double trebles. I'm going to put my last single treble, just a normal treble crochet, a double crochet if you're in the USA, into that space. And then I'm going to join on to the top of this chain of four that we did. Just slip stitch to finish that round on to there. What we're going to do now is we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four and five. What we're going to do now is we're going to put a double crochet into the fourth double treble in this cluster of seven. So count one, two, three and four. Now into the top of that one you're just going to do a double crochet. That's a single crochet in the USA. We're just going to put that chain of five 
and attach it to the middle of that set of seven. So that's your fourth one. You're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to do a double crochet on the top of this treble crochet that we've got here. One double crochet, chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. So the next one we've got a set of seven. Count one, two, three, four stitches along. That should be your fourth post. And do your double crochet. One double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet into the top of that single treble that's there. Chain one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. Into there. That takes us into the top of that set of seven, num post number four. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet into the top of your treble crochet that's here. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Count four stitches, one, two, three, four, and we're going to go into that fourth one. Chain five, double crochet into that treble one there on its own. Chain five, count four stitches. Chain five, into that treble crochet. And then chain five and into the top. And count four stitches into the top of that set of seven all the way around and we're just going to slip stitch down into here so this is what we've got now i'm going to just slip stitch i've done my last chain of five and i'm going to slip stitch that's my first chain there and i'm just going to slip stitch into the bottom of that one there we go what you're going to do now is you're going to slip into this first chain space. Just put your hook through, pull your yarn through and pull through. And that's us working in that first space there. You're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now into this space we're going to put four double trebles. We need That's counting as a first one. That's five. So we need five double trebles. That one counts as your first double treble, that chain. So we need to put four into this space. We'll chain one and then we'll put four into this space. We'll chain one and put four into this space all the way around. So yarn over your hook twice into the chain and finish your double treble. Around again. That's another one. So we'll count the chain as your first one. That's one, two, three, four, and one more makes five. Chain one. You got to remember and do the chain one. That's what keeps your flower flat by doing your chain one. It's going to keep it nice and flat like this. So we've done our chain one and we're going to go into this chain space. So yarn around twice and put five double trebles into this chain space. I like this stitch because it crochets up really quickly and it grows fast as well. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one more. Makes five. Chain one and five into the next space. 
chain one. So we're going to do that all the way around, all the way around your circle. We're going to chain, we're going to do five double trebles, chain one, five double trebles, chain one, all the way around. So this is what we have now. And it's looking really, really nice. Now what we're going to do is, the top of that chain of four, we're just going to slip stitch one, two, three, four, into the fourth chain and close this round off. Get that one to go through there. So we're just closing that round. And that's that round done. So what we're going to do now, pretty easy this one. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. So we're going to put one double treble crochet into each stitch around. We'll put one into the space, the chain space there, and put one into the top of each of these set of five, one into the space and one above there. So yarn over twice and into the top of the stitch. One, two, and into the top of the next stitch, all the way around your circle. This is really nice yarn to work with, even though it was only 99 pence a ball. Now, when you get to the chain space, put one into the space, one double treble into the space and one into the next stitch one into the next stitch all the way around one double treble into each stitch and one into the chain space one above each stitch and one into the chain space all the way around and then i'll come back and show you how to start the cross sections I'll move this one out the way and I'll put this one down. So, so far we've done this section, we've done this one and now we're on this round here. And then we'll start doing our crosses. We'll start doing the lace part of the blanket. So we'll finish this one and I'll come back and show you how to do these crosses. We have now, I've done all my double trebles, one above each of the stitches that have been done and one above the chain space. I'm going to go into the fourth stitch on that very first chain of four and slip stitch to join my round. Now don't worry if it's going up like this, don't worry, it will flatten out and as you can see it is starting to stretch out. The bigger you make this, it's going to make this stretch out and you'll see that lovely pattern there. Now what we're going to do is a cross stitch. The cross stitch is done in a triple treble stitch. A triple treble. If you're in the USA, that's a double treble. Now in the UK, it's a triple treble. What we're going to do is, I'm going to explain this. I'll show you how to do the stitch. You're going to do a chain of four to begin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work into this stitch on the right. Then we will move back when we do the next cross. We'll skip this stitch. We'll work to the left. For the very first one on each row, you'll do your chain and you'll work to the right. And then you'll go back and start working on each of two stitches. So we'll chain four, one, 
two, three, and four. And this is still high enough for the triple treble. Now you're going to wind your yarn around your hook three times. One, two, three. One, two, and three. So you're going to work back to this stitch right beside your chain. So hold your stitches on like this. Take your hook around that chain, bring it to the front and go in to that stitch. Pull your yarn through like this. Yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops and yarn over and through two loops. So you've got your first crossed over stitch. I'll show you that again. Let me just gently pull that out. I'll show you again. We're going into this stitch here. Just at the beginning of every round, you're going to do your chain and work back to that stitch and then we'll work around that way. So wrap the yarn around your hook three times. One, two, three. So it looks like you've got four stitches on your hook. Just hold it. And you're going to go between your yarn and around the back of the chain and from the front go into that stitch like that. Pull your yarn through so you've crossed it over. That chain is crossed over. Yarn around your hook through two loops, around your hook, through two loops, around your hook, through two loops, and around and through the last two. Wrap your yarn one, two, three. Remember and do it three times. Now we're going to work this way. We're going to work that way. Skip that stitch. And we're going to work into the top of the next stitch. Put your hook through. Pull your yarn through. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two loops. Through the two and through those last two. Yarn over one, two, three. We're going to work back into that space that we just missed, into the stitch that we just missed. So go in through there and push your hook through from the front to the back and pull through. Yarn over through two loops, over through two loops, over through two loops and through your last two. And that gives you your next cross. Skip the next stitch. Now you can see that my, my circle's turned up like this. Don't worry about that. Once we've done all these little crosses, it'll all lay flat and it'll all start to stretch out. And this is what you're getting. You're getting these nice crosses. I'll bring the yellow one in. It's a beautiful lemon, this. So what we're doing is this. We're creating this first line of crosses. But this is what we're on. We're on this round here. We're going to do two rounds the same. This round and this round. And as you can see, the weight of the blanket pulls it all out and makes it a beautiful lace show. So yarn over three times. One, two, three. Skip this stitch. Work into this next stitch. Through both parts of your stitch like that. Pull your yarn through and it looks like you've got one, two, three, four, five stitches. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and through the last two. 
Now that's the stitch we skipped. So yarn over one, two, and three, and work in. You're going. Make sure you don't go that way. If you go that way, you'll lose one of your your loops. Hold your yarn and go in from the back to the front, and then into that stitch. So what you're doing is you're going into the front and there's your stitch there. Put your hook through that stitch. Pull your yarn back. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. And through your last two. Now what I'm going to tell you is make sure you do both parts of the cross if you need to go and make yourself a cup of coffee make sure or a cup of tea or go and have your dinner or pick up the kids for school anything like that make sure you finish off the cross and then put it down there's been plenty of times where i've done one part of a stitch put my crochet down and just continued when i picked it up and had to rip it all the way back because i didn't do the second part of that cross stitch so make sure you complete the cross stitch before you put it down and go and do something to find not this one you're going to find your chain of four this one here you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain so not that one don't pull it like that you want to take the chain the one where we started with the chain of four and you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain of four and finish this round. Now you'll notice mine is going like this. Don't panic. Don't panic when you see it going like that. You'll smooth it out. As you build up your shawl, this will all flatten and spread out. So don't panic about it. What we're going to do now is we're going to put one chain in between each of our next crosses. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three and four. You're going to work to the right with that first stitch there. You're going to put your triple treble into that stitch there and then we'll work back that way this keeps the pattern correct it keeps the crosses in the right place above each other so three times around your hook and work into that stitch And that one's going to put that sort of over the top of that. Chain one. Remember this round, the chain one. Now you're going to skip that stitch and work into that stitch. So it's like the stitch in between your crosses. So one, two, three times around your hook. And skip that stitch and go into this stitch. Work your triple treble. If you're in the USA, this is a double treble. One, two, three times around the hook and work back to that stitch there that you skipped. Finish that one. Chain one. Remember your chain one. This is what's going to widen and keep this flat. So we're doing a chain one in between. It's going to keep this flat. So we're going to skip this stitch and work into this stitch here. One, two, three times around the hook and into the stitch that's there. And work a triple treble. Now three times around the hook. One, two, three and work through the gap and into the stitch that we missed, into that stitch there. 
will work. That triple treble and then chain one. Chain one. We're going to do that all the way around. Now remember that chain one because that's what's going to make keep your blanket flat. So this is what we have now. I've almost finished this row where we've done our cross stitch and our one chain in between. Now you're going to find the chain of four that we started with and again don't take this one because that means that's not going to be crossed over. You're going to go into the fourth link on that chain of four. Push your hook through, pull through and slip stitch to join that round. So now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now remember the beginning of each row you've got to go forward to that stitch there and then work that way. So yarn over three times. One, two, three. And you're going to come behind the chain and go into this stitch here. The one that's above this, we're going into this stitch. Push your hook through. Pull your yarn through. I've got caught up there. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two loops through the next two, yarn over through the last two. So that's us got our first cross done. We're going to chain two, one, two. Skip that stitch there and we're going to go into this stitch that's here, this stitch here. One, two, three and into the stitch. One, two, three, and we're going to walk back to that stitch that we missed. It's in between the crosses here. And chain two. One, two. And do the same again. We're going to skip this stitch and work into this stitch here. So we're skipping the stitch that's in between that cross and we're going into the stitch that's here. One, two, three, and into the stitch. One, two, three, and work back into the stitch that's in between that cross. And then we'll chain two, one and two. Now we're going to do that all the way around all the way around and when you get to your cross to here use your chain the chain of four and you're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain of four then you're going to do two more rounds do two more rounds and you're going to have three stitches you're going to have three chain in between your two crosses so after this row your next two rows you'll have three chains in between your cross stitch. You just do it the same as the rows that we've just done, but we're increasing the amount of chains in between the cross stitch. So I'll get that done on mine. You do that on yours, and I'll come back when we've finished our second row of our three chains. So there we go, we are here, we're doing two chains in between our crosses. After that, you'll do two more rounds, but you'll put three chains in between each cross. You're going to put three chain in here, do your cross, three chain in here, do your cross stitch, three chains here, and then do your next cross stitch, and do that for two rounds. And then I'll come back and show you how to add the extra cross stitches into this next round. And so this is what we have now. I've got my rosette in the middle. I've got my first set of crosses. The second set has one chain in between. 
the third row has two chains in between. Then I've done two more rows with three chains in between. So this row and this row have three chains in between. So what we're going to do now I'm going to put extra crosses in. So I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to go into the space. One, two, three. Three times around your hook. And we're going to go just around and into the space like that. Pull your hook through. Yarn over through your stitches like this. So this second one we've put into this space. Now we're going to work back this way. We're going to put the first part of our cross into the space and the second part into this stitch here. So one, two, three times around your hook and go into the big chain space. And do your triple treble. Now you're going to do your three windings on your yarn. You're going through here and you're going into this space that's here in between this cross and pull through and finish that one. We're not doing any chain spaces, no chain spaces this time. So here we've got a chain space You've got two stitches and a chain space. So we're going into this first stitch here. Into there. Finish your triple treble. One, two, three times around your hook. Now we're just going to go into the space. Go through the gap and around the chain. And pull through. So no chains this time. So we're going to go into the chain space and then into this stitch that's here. So we're going to use the chain space and use that stitch there. We'll work back to that stitch. So one, two, three times around the hook into the chain space. Finish that stitch. One, two, three times around the hook into the space and we're going to work into that stitch there. Just go through that stitch and pull through and finish that triple treble. And no chains in between. So what you're doing is you're going to have, your crosses will be slightly offset now but that doesn't matter. It will be okay once we start doing the other rows. I'm going to just slip stitch into my chain of four. So find the chain of four on that very first set. And I'm going into the top of that chain of four. And slip stitch through. Now it's getting a little bit big for the video <laughs> recorder. But this is what it's looking like now. And like I say, I keep saying, the further out you go, then this is all going to stretch open. It's all going to stretch open and it will be absolutely beautiful. So what I'm going to have to do now is I want to keep my cross above this one. So I need to slip stitch over to here. So I'm going to go through that stitch and slip stitch. And I'm going to slip stitch into this stitch in between these two crosses. I want to start here. And that way it's going to keep my crosses beside each other. So I'm going to chain four. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Three and four. Wrap my yarn twice, three times round. Now I'm going to go back to that one and then work round that way. It keeps the pattern all symmetrical doing that. So just for this one row, I'm going to go in 
to that stitch I'm working back just one stitch to the right so I've worked back just one stitch and it's going to keep that cross above that one I've got chain one and we're going to skip this stitch we're going to skip this stitch and work in work into this stitch here so yarn over three times and into the stitch between the cross and work our triple treble yarn over three times and through the gap and into the stitch that we skipped and finish off that triple treble now chain one remember your chain one so we're going to skip this stitch and work into the stitch that's above the cross one two and three make sure you wrap around the right amount of times one two three and work back into that missed stitch that's there some yarn out I'm going to chain one and skip the next stitch and work into the top of this one and that's what we're going to do all the way around we're going to do two rounds like that so once you get back to here you'll slip stitch into the top of your chain of four that'll pull that one into the proper cross shape and then do one more round where you've got one chain in between so your next two rounds are one chain in between your crosses I'll get that done and I'll come back and show you the next round I've done the, the increase cross round I've done two rows with one chain in between my, my crosses I've done two rows with one chain. I'm going to do three rows with two chain in between the crosses. And then I'm going to do three rows with three chains in between the crosses. Now you don't need to let me you don't need to see me doing that because it's the same as these ones where you're only you're doing your cross the same way, but you're putting a chain in between them so these two rows have got one chain the next three rows will have two chains in between and the last three rows will have three chains in between I'll show you look how pretty that pink is it's a beautiful pink and at 19 pence a ball is unbelievable and this is the lemon one and it's so soft you can see how soft this has came out so here we are on this one. This is our increase here. And I've done my two rows of one chain in between. Now I'm going to do three rows with two chains in between each cross. And then three rows with three chains. And that's going to spread your blanket out. If you've got more than two balls of yarn, then feel, feel free to add some more extra rounds with three chains I think you can get up to five with three chains before you need to change it to four chains if you don't put enough chains in the middle your, your blanket will start to curl up like this so once I've got those six rounds done three with two chains three with three chains in between the middle I'll show you how I just did this very last row like this it's just double treble crochets it's not the triple one it's a double one and I'll show you how I did that I've got two with no chain in between three with two and three with three chains in between those cross stitches because the bigger the blanket gets the wider it's going to spread now I'm going to do my last round on here but you don't have to if you want to make your blanket even wider 
then you can do some more rows but you'll need to put four chains in between because it will start to curl up like this if you continue just with three tree three chain it will start to curl so i'm stopping there with mine it's i've measured it this is 38 inches all the way along all the way across it's 38 inches so what we're going to do for this last row if i get my hook I want to point out as well, if you're having difficulty keeping your crosses above each other, when you do the very first one, you might need to slip stitch over to here. So just reminding you that you might need to slip stitch. I'll show you when I join it. This needs three chain. One, two, three. And then I'm going to slip stitch to my chain not to the one that's here but to this one that's crossing over to this chain that i've got here my chain of four i'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain of four and finish that round now if you were doing another round i know that you'll probably watch the video before you make the blanket you might need to slip stitch around to the beginning of the cross so that you're up here and then you work to that one and then work back that way the way i've been showing you but just remember to slip stitch across there i'll take that back out so just remember if you're going to make this blanket and your crosses are not lining up it'll be this first one just remember and slip stitch across to here and then put your other cross and then work that way. The way I've explained it. I want to go over and start in here. So I'm going to slip stitch across and into that space there. So we're starting in the space. You can start there if you want, but it looks prettier if you have... The, the proper stitch on top of that cross and then we'll sort of and then the chain will blend in with those four so I'm going to do a chain one two a chain of three wrap my yarn around twice and I'm going to put another three double trebles into this space that's one two and three so that makes four the chain counts as your first one one two three and four in the usa this is called a treble crochet in the uk it's a double treble the ones down here are triple trebles what you're going to do now is in the top of the cross stitch that you've got and you cross over in the space you're going to put one double treble into the top of there into the space and then four into this big space so wrap your yarn twice around the hook that's one two three and four we're going to put one into the space in our cross so yarn over twice just go right through the cross the space finish your double treble and then put four into this space We'll put one into the cross, into the space in the cross, and four into here. One into the space in the cross, four into here, all the way around. All the way around like the lemon one. Got that the right way around. So we're going to do that all the way around the blanket to finish it off. 
I just need to join my last double treble to the top of that chain that we did at the beginning. Just going to slip, oops, just slip stitch through. I can get it through. There we are. Slip stitch into there. I'll take my scissors and I'll snip that end off. Now that was all I've been left with for that ball, but 200 grams is amazing for a blanket of this size. Now I'll sew that end in, I will sew the end in and I'll remind you again the hook I was using is a 4.5 I don't know if you can see it it's a 4.5 and and this is the yarn that I was using it's just called Baby it's a double knitting it's 99 pens and it's actually by the yarn company but I got it in Home Bargains in the UK. It's a 100 gram and it's 100% acrylic. So you can give this a really good wash and it'll be fine because it's acrylic. Now I'll see if I can get this all out. I will take a picture of it on the floor. But just remember, the one thing I do want to point out, to keep your crosses in line when you first start, if you join if you join your round and you're here then slip stitch to the top of this one this one that's on this side do your chain of four work into the stitch at the side and then work across this way but just remember that if you do it this way and work that way your 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 crosses will start to spiral round like that that might be what you're looking for, I don't know, I mean you could try that if you want to but this is what the shawl looks like, I'll just spin that all around look at that, there's loads and loads of it, out of two balls of yarn 200 gram balls of yarn and that is the middle of it I'm going to bring my lemon one back in look at the lemon, the lemon's beautiful and the pink is a beautiful shade look at the two of those together and there is a blue, a white and a grey I've seen and I'm not sure if there's a mint green but when I was at the shop they had the, they had the pink, they had the lemon, they had blue I know they do have white, they didn't have any white the day I was in and I am so over the moon with the design and I think if my mum were still alive my mum would be so proud of me that she taught me the very very basics of crochet but look at this, it is absolutely beautiful, it's beautiful and I'm really, really pleased. I really am. I'm really pleased with it. It's absolutely beautiful. That's it in the lemon. And that's it there. And the pink. This is the one that we've just finished. And the pink. All I need to say now is thank you very much for watching. Now please subscribe to my channel. Please just click on that subscribe button that's there. If you hit the notification bell as well, you'll be notified when I post another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.